Hey guys, we're starting a new project today called World of Goo, a game I absolutely love. I've completed it once before, so this isn't blind, but it is in HD. So let's create a new profile. Let's call it Weedy, as we call every single profile Weedy, because I'm that hardcore. We're going to go to Chapter 1, the Goo-filled hills. It's summer. Right, going up. Let's do this. I absolutely love this game. I'm running this on the next, by the way. Drag and drop to build the pipe. Not too difficult. We're going to OCD this because I'm hardcore. I'm not going to OCD all the levels because I've got time, but. Oh, I have got time, but. I haven't got the effort molecules to do it. <laughs> oh, we haven't got the whistle. Later in the game, you get a whistle which allows you to speed up the balls. There we go, OCD. Got 11 goo balls and the goal was 4. We are that hardcore. Now, this is an excellent game. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you go and buy it. It's an indie game, so you're actually supporting the developer. Uh, next level is Small Divide. There are 6 chapters, each with about, I think, 20 levels. Might be less, might be more. Oh, look at Gap. Where if the goo balls go down there, they die. So, what do we do? We build a bridge. It's not that hard. Oh, we have a sign as well. Let's read the sign. From across the small divide, another mysterious pipe appeared up in the sky. Its opening looked warm and inviting. The goo ball seemed to wonder where it might lead. The sign painter. The sign painter is... If you've ever played Portal, it's like the GLaDOS of this game. Although, he never goes evil. Oh, he never goes evil. He's always nice. Or she. We don't know. Anyway. Basically, you connect goo balls together, as you can see, and get them to a pipe. At the minute, we don't know why we're doing this, but we'll find out soon enough. 15 out of 8 collected. This is going to take fucking months to render, but I want to do it in HD, so I'll have at least one project in HD. Uh, 15 goo balls collected, yay! Oh, and Connor's probably going to blag at me, the person who gets mentioned in every single video, because Oh, you said you weren't going to do 3D projects. Well, this isn't 3D and it isn't really that high-tech, and the reason I'm doing it is because it runs natively on Linux, so yeah. Next level, hang low. Wake up there. Sleeping goo. Now, the OCD way to do this is... I'll show in a second. It's to take these goo balls and throw them at those so they bounce and then wake up. But that takes absolutely ages to do, so I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to do it the I'm a noob way. There we go. It's pretty much all of those woken up. More to jump on. Get up there. Get on there. Ah, oh, well that one goo ball can stay asleep. I'm not going to waste a goo ball to save a goo ball. It's kind of pointless. Now, see that. Now, one thing you'll find when you're playing this game is the best structure to build in is a hexagonal structure because for some reason it's very, very strong. If you build in hexagons, it's generally very strong. Oh. Oh, sorry, yeah. Uh, build in polygons. They don't have to, you know, they don't have to have five, six, seven, eight sides. They can have any number of sides. As long as there's more than four, the structures usually turn out pretty strong. There we go. That's level three done. They get much more challenging though, so don't worry. We will be raging later on. But this game is fantastic for a number of reasons. Number one, it's very original. The ground shakes. Oh, we've unlocked something. World of Goo Corporation. We've unlocked it. Yeah. Another reason this game absolutely rocks, apart from the fact it's good generally, is they released a version for Windows, Mac, Linux, and Wii. 
think there might be a 360 version as well. Basically, they're, pla they're what's called platform agnostic, meaning they'll run on anything. The fact that they develop for Linux is why I paid for it. But hey. Fuck. See, this level's pretty difficult. What we gotta do is if you. I'll pop one video just to show. If you go into contact with the cut over there, the Google's pop. Now, these little bugs here, what they do is when you click them, they revert time. Now, as ridiculous as that seems, it does help. And the food? Fuck. Time bug. Need, a, need two over there. Oh shit, lag. Oh, you have to be quick here so you don't get raped. Oh, I'm not going to build in a hex. Actually, I am. Change my mind. See, now the weak point in our structure now is here. But we can't put anything here because we've put something here. So you'll see. Oh, never mind. It actually worked. Put a goo ball here to hold everything up. This game is a really, really fun physics puzzle, basically. Oh, oh, never mind. That was actually pretty good. It linked us up here. Also, the goo balls stick to pretty much any surface. If they touch a surface, they stick. As you saw by there. It's not a documented property of them, but they are. That's very, very useful. I'm not going to bother OCD. As I said, I haven't got the time or the effort. We got a shit ton of goo balls. Oh, and at the moment you can't reuse goo balls, as you can tell. This is all mouse control, by the way, so... Thirty-two, twenty-six. Doing pretty well for goo balls, yeah. Right, two paths. Left or right. Eeny, meeny, meeny, mo. I pick left. Flying machine. Some balls are lighter than other balls. That is definitely what she said. Now, these balls are balloons. And these you can reuse. You can take them off and reuse them. What we have to do is basically lift these two platforms up. So, Google here, Google here, Google here. Whee! Now, what we also do is we take these spare balloons here. Place one there. On there because I'm gonna read that sign quickly. Open the gates and fly, monkeys fly. But don't forget about me, okay? Sincerely, the sign painter. Yeah, he is the main protagonist of this game. He's an asshole. Now, as you can see, the arrow at the top tells us that there's a pipe up here. And hopefully, if this goes right, this should float directly into the pipe. Yeah, it did. Lucky us. Six of four. Oh man, I'm still ill. My nostrils are so fucked. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.